Nikki here. I'm here today just to give you a review on the Sense and Sensibility movie. It's paired with my spoiler and spoiler free uh, reviews that I will include in the link description below if you're interested in watching those first. This is the one, the uh, 1995 Sense and Sensibility movie that stars uh, Kate Winslet and Emma Thompson. I've heard pretty good things about it online when I looked into it and I was really excited to, to watch it. Uh, it was super easy. I was able to stream it through Netflix and I love both of the star starring actresses. So I was really pumped to watch it. And with if the movie follows the same kind of story as the book, you're following the two young Miss Dashwoods and kind of their foibles and trials with love. That's all I really have to say about the summary. I, I will go from here to my likes and dislikes. As always, I'm going to start with my three likes. My first like is that the characters are very, like for the large part, very consistent uh, to the characters in the books. While there are a few that are kind of missing, the characters that are there are really well represented and serve the same role that the characters in the book did. And any mild changes made to the characters were not really impactful and didn't really change the story as a whole. Uh, the actor playing Edward was great and I live for how awkward he was. <laughs> My second like is something that I've noticed in other movie adaptations of classics, but it was especially fun here and it was like the way they cut to people to emphasize emotion. And the scene I noticed this the most in was one of the early ones <laughs> where you can tell um, Edward and Eleanor are partial, becoming partial for each other and it's just this beautiful cut to Eleanor's mother to her stepsister and it's just, oh, beautiful. I love the drama it has but everybody's too polite to do anything about it. It was great. And my third like is, I don't know, it's Margaret. She was not super present in the book because the book was really about uh, Marianne and Eleanor and their, um, as they grow, grow their evolving love for different men. At least early on, not so much later, but early on, uh, Margaret has a slightly larger role and I love her. Uh, she is under slightly different rules because she, she is so young, um, but just like some of the things that she sets in motion because of her um, expanded role were just, it was really interesting. I really enjoyed seeing it and she was just such a lovable character. I was, I was over the moon that she was given this kind of role because it was so fun to watch. And with that, I'm gonna bounce to my negatives. <laughs> Again, there's three of them. Although that being said, they are pretty minor overall. Uh, for me, uh, the first negative is that um, it's, it's one I had with the book. The front half was very slow and it felt like it was being unnecessarily drawn out. Although the movie did was quicker, I still felt that dragging pace uh, with the first half, uh, just like the story, just that the story wasn't progressing and that there were a lot of characters at a standstill. My second negative is that although the characters were really well represented by these actors and that the emo and the emotion was a lot more visible, a lot of the characters were still very 2D, they felt a little flat, and there wasn't a lot of development. Um, this is all, like I said, this was a complaint I also had with the book, uh, same as with the pacing. Um, I just didn't get as much out of these characters as I would have liked. Uh, and my third negative is <sighs> something minor, but again, it's actually something I notice with a lot of classics turned movies, and that's that there's these like breaks in decorum where the women are doing something that historically at least or as presented in the books wouldn't have been allowed um, and some of it too is just like the actions by men the specific uh incident i'm thinking of is at the near the end of the movie when uh colonel or captain brandon has brought back uh Eleanor and Marianne's mom because Marianne is, was deathly ill and in the book he stays in the drawing room in the movie he comes right to the door of her sick room while she's laying there 
in pajamas and just like super frail and super ill. I mean, even at this point, if <laughs> I would be a little creeped out by it, but back then that wouldn't have even been like, they wouldn't have thought of that. Thought to, um, he wouldn't have thought to even do that. It would have been considered very inappropriate and a very ill breeding. And that's really all I have. Uh, like I said, the negatives for this were pretty minor. They were just like a small inconsistency or things that carried over from the book. And there were things that even on the silver screen weren't great. With that out of the way, I will do a quick character summary and then I'll run and do my wrap up. So first off, what I want to say most pointedly is that this was incredibly well cast. Incredibly well cast. Every actor was wonderful. I felt they did a great job bringing the character to life. Um, that being said, the characters were still a little flat, but that is something that translated from the book to the silver screen, and I don't think had anything to do with representation of the actors. It's not that the actors were stiff or wooden, it was that the characters were pretty 2D and weren't that complex. There were a few characters missing, uh, most notably uh, Sir John's wife, um, and she was not a catalyst in a lot of things, but she was present for a lot of things in the book, and she just wasn't there at all. However, the roles they filled, and if there were any role, if there were any situations where they were kind of a plot point, they were well compensated for by the characters that were there. So it wasn't a huge issue that some of them weren't around. Um, it just resulted in it being a little bit different. And that's really all I have to say about the characters. Uh, they were very well represented from the book. The actors were amazing. What else is there really to say, I guess? So with that, I'll move to my wrap up. I will start with my movie score. As a movie, I'm going to give this four and a half out of five. It was very well shot. I, I really enjoyed the costumes, even if they're not perfect. I think they're very time appropriate. And they were beautiful, as were all of the sets they used. I love how camera cuts were used to kind of emphasize emotion and just the way this movie was shot, I felt was there was something about it that made the entire experience of, of watching it more enjoyable because or the way it was shot did a really good job of emphasizing the tone um, of each scene and it did a good job emphasizing which character had the motivation in the scene. While the pacing was very rocky at the start, it, it did pick up and smooth out. I just really enjoyed this movie and I'll definitely come back and watch it again. Um, in terms of its adaptation from book to movie, uh, I'll give this, it's gonna, the score is going to be the same, honestly. It's, I can't say it is the best uh, adaptation I've ever seen, but it was really good. They kept the really important stuff, the little things that were cut out, they compensated for really well, so the story didn't actually change when those characters were missing. The overall tone to the story was the same, although they kept the pacing the same, I can't say that was necessarily a good thing but it was consistent from the book. Any kind of, while well, some impor the importance of some characters was shifted around, i.e. Margaret, i.e. Edward, and the roles that they filled within the family unit were a little bit different. I think they did it because then it translated over and made some of the characters a little bit more likable. Um, I know, although Eleanor is partial to Edward in the book, it, in, at least in the beginning of the book, you didn't really get a chance to see to really believe it, in my opinion. So it was nice to see a little bit more time set there to make it a little bit more believable. I think overall the chemistry was a lot between characters and romantic relationships and even between famili with familial bonds was a lot, was set a lot nicer um, just with the actors bringing them to life. There was a lot of chemistry on screen both familial and romantic, that I think really lent itself well to expanding the, your connection to the characters. And like overall, this was just a really solid adaptation of a classic to the silver screen. I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it to people who have read the book and I'd recommend it to people who haven't. It's just a very well done movie that deserves to be watched, in my opinion. Uh, if you disagree with any of the points or feel like I missed something important, leave me a comment down below and I will open up a conversation with you about it. Uh, that's all I have to say today and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.